What's up chaps, it's George Fragrance Surprise here and welcome to summer is the most disappointing statement that you could ever tell to any British person, just a heads up. So yes, we're here in summer and uh, summer is actually my favourite part of the fragrance season. Now that's quite an uncommon thing admittedly because people usually prefer the winter time because that's where fragrances are a bit more experimental, a bit more diverse and you know bit more uh, interesting, some would say. But no, I actually really, really love the summertime. I love my aquatics and my more sort of diluted fruity kind of smells. I think they're really, really cool and really, really interesting. So with that, I'm going to pitch the list to you. And what that means is that there are tons and tons of uh, top 10 summer 2015 fragrance lists are hitting YouTube at this point. So what am I specifically going to bring, the, bring to the table? Uh, with this list. It's going to be, this list for me is going to be very much back to the roots and what I mean by that is some of my first fragrances and I think that some of a lot of people's first fragrances were people pleaser, um, compliment getter, aquatic, fruity kind of things. Now there's still going to be an air of sophistication stuff like that. In fact what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the cream of the crop when it comes to compliments. I'm having to be a lot more social than I ever have been in my in my life. I'm having to network and meet new people and all that kind of stuff. So at the moment, I'm really looking for hardcore, hard-hitting, uh, people-pleaser, compliment getters uh, at the moment. So with that, um, it, that's what this list is about. If that's what you're into, if you're looking for a fragrance that's going to get your attention, if, if you're looking for fragrances that you want to be walking down the street and people are actually stopping you mid mid walk saying what is that fragrance then this is a very very good list for that okay so I've got one honorable mention in fact hang on a minute before that there's a few things I've missed there are, there are certain bare essentials that I need to do a top 10 summer list right, let's have a look Got um, got the fragrances there, there. That's all right. I've got myself. I needed that. I've got this red wine. Yes, got the red wine. Mm. Mm. Very beautiful Merlot. What else? What else do I need? Now I'm ready. So. First one is an honourable mention. It's what I like to call the fragrance for people who aren't that bothered about fragrances. Uh, if you're just here, I don't know, you just want something very simple, something very clean, uh, it smells as though you've actually had a wash in the past couple of days, then look no further than Dior Homme Cologne. Absolutely fantastic. So, numero 10. Remember that Angel Men Ultra Zest sample that I got sent, thank you very kindly, by Deva? Well, Number 10. <laughs> Angel Men Ultra Zest. Angel Men Ultra Zest is one of the most polarizing fragrances uh, in recent memory. Uh, the community is, is almost split straight down the middle about it. There are some people in the camp thinking that this is one of the worst, one of the worst Angel Men variations, flankers ever. And then you've got people like me who actually thinks that it's one of the best. I would actually rate this up there with Pure Malt and Pure Havan. Um, sorry, I would. Uh, really, really good. I think the fact that they managed to take the concept of uh, putting orange and citrus zestiness in with the Angel Men DNA, and they actually really pulled it off, that, that gets my respect anyway. But it's it's really, really great, and it really, you know, for, for a, a gourmand type fragrance, this really works in the summertime. And of course, yes, a good amount of people have mentioned this and 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 uh, and complimented me on it. Number nine is what I like to refer to as the most romantic fragrance in the world, and truly nothing beats it in my opinion. It's Dior Homme Spa. So Dior Homme Spa, I refer to it very very uh, adamantly that it is the most romantic fragrance that I've ever smelled. It's pure joy, pure romance, poetry, love songs, all that kind of thing. Just um. Uh, it's it's just the the beautiful sort of citrusy herbness that goes into it. Um, I know it just has a lot of beautiful and um, uh, romantic connotations for me. So if you're in love, buy your own spore. 
Number eight is quite a fall from grace. It was last year's number one. My goodness, I still I still love it, but it's not quite my king anymore, Mr. Vulgari Man Extreme. Have I completely fallen out of love with this? No, 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 it's not like that. It's just that with the case of compliment guesses and attention, this has really, really declined this year. But you know something? Um, when I was wearing this the previous two years where I got a lot of compliments, I was actually full-time in the fragrance industry and I was in a working environment with a lot of different people uh, and mostly adults. So I think that this is, this does have a mature kind of twang to it, but now, you know, I've returned to be a student again, so I'm with younger people and maybe this just doesn't resonate with them as much. Um, I still do love it, but I can't I can't falsify the information, the, the, I have not had the amount of attention, the amount of love um, that this got the previous two years, but if you are a working person and you're maybe in your mid-thirties or something like that, then this is something that I would definitely still, still recommend to you. Number seven is pure fun, absolute spark of energy, and I make no apologies for having it on this list. It's Hugo Red by Hugo Boss. Uh, it's got uh, the note of, of rhubarb, which is quite a unique and interesting uh, thing. But if you're young, you're you're a very 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 energetic person. If you're a very very happy, smiley person, I would I would definitely definitely check this out. This is really really great. And boy oh boy, this gets compliments. It gets a ridiculous amount of compliments, especially from those of the opposite sex. I think it's because it's such a uh, inviting and pleasant and pungent and, uh, and an excitable smell. So yes, if you're into, if, you, if that's what you're looking for, I would definitely, definitely recommend this, hand on heart. Number six is the only niche that I have on this list, and my goodness, I miss New York so much. Uh, every time I smell this, it takes me back. It's Bleak Street by Bond number nine. Bleaker Street is um, what can be said. Um, it's ever more being recognised as the sort of the forgotten cousin of Aventus. Um, it has just a definitive masculine kind of touch, but not an over-the-top thing. It, it, it's a cool guy. You know, this really is the smell of just a cool, laid-back guy who knows what he wants and just enjoys life. On a technical level, this is also a bit of a masterpiece. Um, some incredibly authentic oak moss uh, lined with other sort of uh, unusual notes such as suede and blueberry. Um, but it really, really works together and becomes an incredible, beautiful composition. Number five, an old favorite of mine. I'm still going to go on about it. If you haven't checked it out, you need to, I'm not making this stuff up, it's amazing, it's CK1 Red. So look, I recognise that I do go on about this one, just a tiny bit, but you know, I, I, I just feel that it really deserves a lot of recognition, I really, really do. I mean, it's just... <laughs> yes! When I smell it, I do smell the original Calvin Klein, but you know what, I smell improvements to the original composition. I smell new, interesting nuances and layers to it, like the, the green grass element and the berries. And even recently I've started to smell like this kind of dried coconutty vibe going on. It's so interesting, it's, it's just, it's what you want. Try it out, it's brilliant, it's brilliant, it's CK1 Red. Number four is a controversial pick, I must admit, uh, because of the nature of, of what this fragrance is. But you know something, with the criteria that I've given it, which is people pleaser and compliment getter, it would be an absolute fallacy, an absolute crime to not mention this and put this in the list, where unfortunately it does rightfully belong. It's Lomani AB Spirit Silver. Number three is a hype train that I was not really intending to board but in the end it was 20 quid and I bought it and let me just tell you this is what it's all about this is why I'm in the fragrance game right here number three an absolute gem a king Nautica Voyage 
this right here is why I do this. Okay. This is why I'm into this whole thing. This is apt. This is just too much. Okay. This is. God damn it. God damn it. That is ap right. Okay. So how do I? How do I even? How do I even explain this? Right. So you've got. Okay, in fact, I'll tell you that I'll, I'll tell you from the beginning. I heard about this. Everybody's heard about this. Everybody's heard of Nautica Voyage, right? If you're in the community, um, you've heard of Nautica Voyage, right? And you're like, oh, okay, well, whatever. And then you don't think about it because it looks the bottle looks kind of like okay, and you just think boring aquatic whatever. And you know what? I do like boring aquatics if they're done perfectly, all right? Because with aquatics, they're either absolutely terrible, or they nail it and they're your new favorite thing in the world. And guess which one this was, guys? Hmm? <laughs> right? So I get this, I get this in winter time as well, right? Which is not the right time to be smelling aquatic fragrances. But I get it, and I just, I have to spray this, and I just spray it on. And I'm like, god damn it! <laughs> That's ridiculous! This is. Right, green cucumber, beautiful, clean, glistening, uh, glistening green cucumber, right? Um, with some very subtle fruity nuances and like this kind of frosty inviting kind of like almost icy ice cold salty beautiful awesomeness that's coming at you and you just smell it and you go like oh my goodness it's one of those gems it's an absolute gem of fragrance it's amazing I have fallen in love with it I have fallen head over heels for this fragrance compliments Every day. Every time. Every day. Don't worry about it. Compliments. Fantastic. Um, it's a true gem. It's going to be in my top tens, like, all the time. And it's 20 freaking quid. <laughs> okay. So, um, top that, right? How am I going to do that? Well, I'll tell you how I'm going to. Number two, sticking with the aquatic vibe. I mean, come on. You say summertime, and you say summertime and compliments. Um, this will be on everybody's list and I didn't think it was good. I, I heard the legends, I heard the myths of the compliments and the attention that this fragrance got but I was not actually prepared for it. I was completely overwhelmed. Um, it's Versace Man O Fresh. So this guy is is a legend. It, it's a legitimate uh, summer legend. Um, one of the most surprising things about this fragrance is that it lasts a tremendous amount of time. It lasts a really tremendous amount of time. Um, I put it on the other day. In fact, every, mostly every time that I've put this on, it lasts the whole day. And it doesn't smell like it's going to be like that, that kind of fragrance, but it just does. Uh, to give you a very simple picture of what this smells like, you're on holiday, right? You're abroad or you're in Italy or one of the Mediterranean countries, and you're sitting by a pool, right? And you just got out of the pool, right? And and you smell the heat of the concrete matching the, the coolness of the water, right? And that sounds kind of simple and whatever, but that's, that's literally that. I think a person's number one should really resemble how they feel and where they are in their life. This year, I'm, I try to be a lot more uh, casual, I try, I try to be a lot more relaxed, I try to be a lot more cooler in the way that I I am and, and the way that I deal with things um, so my number one is hopefully a representation of, of how I'm feeling and, and how I am but just in general it is one of the greatest compliment getters it is one of one of the best fragrances one of the best smells uh, ever created um, by man <laughs> so I think that's enough hype it is from the house of Chanel to Lure on Sport. So what can I say about a Lure on Sport that, that hasn't already been said? For those of you who don't know, for those of you who've never smelled this before, a Lure on Sport, to me, and to quite a lot of other people, is not only one of the best fragrances in the world, but it's one of the best smells that I've ever encountered in my life. Right? And I'm including, I'm not just including aftershaves, colognes, fragrances, perfumes, I'm including the 
the smell of hot dinner, right? The smell of, you know, going outside and smelling flowers and stuff like that. This is up there with those experiences. It's an absolute masterpiece. And to some people, I know that you're like, oh, couldn't it have been something different? We've heard about allure on sport all the time. You know, couldn't it have been something we've never heard of and stuff like that. But you know, it just goes to show that sometimes the more established fragrances are still outdoing, you know, the, the, the classics are still outdoing fragrances that are coming out today. Okay, so this is my number one. If you've never smelt it, if you've never bought it, buy it. If you if you have got it and you haven't used it for a while, do yourself a favor, get it out. So there we go, my top 10 summer fragrances of 2015. Hope you enjoyed it. I know that Deva especially will have enjoyed it because, oh God, he loves top 10s all the time. Can't, he's just, he's just been nagging me like all day. Like, just when are you gonna release your top 10? Here it is, Deva, here it is, it's especially for you, mate. So there we go. Um, I really hope that you're all having an incredible summer, you're enjoying yourself, you're having a good time, and hopefully uh, one of the fragrances that I've had on this list uh, will also be part of your summer as well. So until next time, until you see me very, very soon, I am the Fragrance Price. This one is amazing. <laughs> uh, have an amazing summer. I'll see you soon. Bye.